Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, peace and joy be with you. In a short while, we will be listening to the reflection from Father David Lemevo of the Missionaries of God's Love. Let's be open to the Holy Spirit and prepare our hearts so the Word of God will dwell richly in our lives today. My word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path and a light unto my path. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the Gospel today is taken from Matthew 10, chapter, um, verse 34 through 37. Do not think that I came to bring peace on earth. I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against his mother and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's enemies will be those of his, house, his own household. He who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, in this time of great calamities, great difficulties, challenges in family life, this gospel seems to be uh, out, of, out of place. It uh, does, doesn't seem to offer us any comfort at all. And yet, when we reflect on it, when I reflect on it, it rings true that despite all our efforts, there is, um, there is, there is peace, uh, often uh, in our own home, in our own family. And uh, the only way that I can reflect this is, is, is the, um, uh, what actually happened to me today in, in Indonesia and in Maumere, uh, we start to have um, a, a, a micro lockdown where uh, Sunday Masses is not happening anymore uh, beginning from this week and um, we only celebrate Mass in a very small uh, community and after saying Mass in the university I came home and feeling tired already um, one of our uh, member have just uh, contracted a COVID and he, his brother passed away and all just those things. And then suddenly uh, uh, two mother came uh, in front of our door and begged me to uh, pray for her son. And um, when I, my initial response is that I, I, I can easily um, say no because also all the protocols and all this and that, I have the right to say that. Um, but somehow I just didn't feel right and I felt that um, uh, often Jesus um, go beyond uh, the call of duty and, um, and I was drawn to do that. So instead of, and she said that she can bring the, the son here, the son is about, he's just 21 year, years old, but he's losing his mind and after all the things that happened to him. And so, a uh, short story, I went with them to um, their place. I took a brother with me. And um, I found out that um, he, it, was, it, was hard, it was hard to connect with him. When I spoke Indonesian, uh, he was just keep uh, uh, speaking in, the, in a dialect that I couldn't understand at all, a local dialect here. And um, when I asked his mother, uh, his mother just said, well, he's speaking, um, he's speaking rubbish. Um, his father was there too. Um, after a long um, attempt to connect and to get him to, to talk, um, didn't go anywhere. And then I found out that uh, his mother said, well, he's actually saying the word of 
to pray our Father. And so we started praying. I said, oh, you like to pray? Okay, we'll pray. And we'll pray our Father. His Father was there too. Um, later we found out that um, his Father has been very tough on him. This is a cultural thing as well. Um, you know, his Father has sacrificed a lot to get him uh, to receive good education, you know, uh, university, and that's not an easy thing. They're not uh, rich, they're, they're, they're one of the poor, and are living uh, quite poorly. So a lot of sacrifice that his dad has done for him. And one time he had enough because the son uh, didn't do quite well, and he was just, and he said to him, and he, he, he confessed to me that, um, you know, one time I was so angry with my son and I, I said, you're just uh, uh, a dead branch, uh, you know, and then he, um, he kicked him out of uh, home and that created a big wound in him. Um, somehow I was drawn and I asked him whether he has uh, asked forgiveness from his son. He said in a very uh, regretful way that he hasn't. He looked, the father looks very remorse, so I invited him to uh, ask forgiveness. And so he knelt. Uh, when he asked forgiveness, I always actually trying to hold my, my tear, just um, seeing and witnessing what actually happened before my eyes. And that's what happened, you know. Um, yes, Jesus did bring peace, but at that time, he called us to bring peace. He called me to bring peace because um, in forgiveness, peace comes. And when the Father, with tears in his uh, face, asked um, forgiveness from the Son, and the Son did say, I forgive you. And then suddenly the Son hold my hands as if to say he is very grateful for that. After the whole um, forgiveness took place, the son started to really connect. He, he can see straight away this, 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 this burden of unforgiveness, unresolved conflict in the, uh, between them. Uh, it's just lifted. And I was so grateful just to be part of it, just to witness the work of the Holy Spirit that brings peace. Brothers and sisters, when there is no peace, we're called to bring peace. When there's sadness, we're called to bring joy. When there's sorrow, uh, we're called to bring comfort, not to seek for consolation, but to bring consolation to others. And what a, what a joyful thing to be able to be part of that. It's only a small sacrifice from all of us. There is this one song, you all know about this song, Make Me a Channel of Your Peace, uh, the prayer of St. Francis. So let me uh, conclude our reflection today by sharing with you this song, Make Me a Channel of Your Peace. And may, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we become a channel of peace to one another and in our family. Amen.
Oh uh-huh.